Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson said today that he will not step down. This is after a slew of accusations over the weekend by his top assistants claiming that they believe that he is breaking the law. Political reporter Jack Fink with reaction. Uh, this is a you know, political earthquake in Texas politics. There's no question about it. The Austin American Statesman newspaper reported Paxton's seven top assistants sent this letter to Human Resources saying, quote, We have a good faith belief that the attorney general is violating federal and or state law, including improper influence, abuse of office, bribery, and other potential criminal offenses. The letter says they sent a text to Paxton telling him they notified law enforcement. Legal analyst David Cole says the question now is how will Paxton be able to run the office? It's difficult to run any office with this kind of internal turmoil, much less one that's under this kind of political scrutiny. Media reports say the concerns surround Paxton's ties to Austin real estate developer Nate Paul. In a statement today, Paxton said his office was, quote, referred a case from Travis County regarding allegations of crimes relating to the FBI, other government agencies, and individuals. Because employees from my office impeded the investigation, and because I knew Nate Paul, I ultimately decided to hire an outside independent prosecutor to make his own independent determination. Despite the effort by rogue employees and their false allegations, I will continue to seek justice in Texas and will not be resigning. Governor Abbott said these allegations raise serious concerns. I will withhold further comment until the results of any investigation are complete. The Texas Democratic Party has called on Paxton to resign. So is Republican Central Texas Congressman Chip Roy, who was once Paxton's top assistant. Paxton is already under indictment facing three unrelated securities fraud charges from before he was elected attorney general. One of the special prosecutors in that case told me today they will be investigating these new allegations. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.